Well, we originate from Destination Volleyball corporate headquarters and go to Maryland to coach Steve Aird, who not only is preparing for a season in the toughest league in America, but has had a baby this week. Steve, congratulations, and tell me about Patrick. Thank you. Yeah, Patrick, uh, David Aird, Monday morning, uh, out a few weeks early, but mom and baby doing great, and uh, can't wait to get home, hang out, and uh, spend a little bit of time with them. So it's been a it's been a juggle early with preseason and having a baby boy, but it's it's been wonderful, and uh, we're happy that everyone's healthy. This is uh, kid number three, I believe, right? Because I saw a picture of a uh, you have a daughter MJ holding the baby. Yeah, yeah, our daughter is Mackenzie, and she uh, she couldn't wait to get to the hospital to hang out with the little guy. So that makes three, and uh, three's more than company. We're doing, we're in uh, we got our hands full. All right, let's give a plug to mom and the other kid. Make sure we drop all the names. Right. So, yeah, my wife's name is Brandy, and then my middle son is Kalen. So we've got Mackenzie, Kalen, and Podrick, a good uh, good Irish-Scottish clan back home. <laughs> and for a Canadian, right? Yeah, that's true. I grew up in Toronto, so uh, shout out to my people back home. I was in Toronto this summer for uh, two and a half days unplanned. We flew from uh, Boston to Toronto on Air Canada, connecting to St. John's, Newfoundland. Okay. And all the flights were canceled going into St. John's. So I got to experience downtown Toronto and then Niagara Falls. It was good stuff. Yeah, a bunch of actually, you know, like uh, Nicole Fawcett and uh, some of the other players I'd been around in my career, they were at the Pan Am Games in Toronto, and they had a great time there. I think it was a great event. The uh, team obviously did great because they won, but people love Toronto. They had a great time. I was there during the Pan Am Games, coincidentally on a night when they were not playing volleyball. Mm -hmm. Went uh, to the area called the Distillery District. I'm sure you know where that is. I'm familiar. That yeah, right, exactly. Well, it's yeah. So people don't think it's just all distilleries, but we did happen to be drinking a lot of beer at an outdoor place and sitting at the next table is the former Illinois star Michelle Barch, who played on that USA team and chatted with her and said hi. Yeah. What enough about random stuff. So how how about that um, Big Ten you've got coming up here? Man, oh man, what a tough league and what a tough team yeah. in Maryland. Yeah. You know, um, Coach Shondell at Purdue had, had tweeted out something last week about he thought it might be the toughest conference in the history of college volleyball. You know, for me, I think it's impossible to rank teams. Uh, they ask you to do that as a head coach going into the season. You know, who's the favorite, the, the ranking teams one through 14. But I really think every team in the conference is going to have the ability to win matches in the preseason. And I would be shocked if there's not a whole bunch of upsets as you go through the year. Um, with the conference beating each other up pretty good. It's it's impressive. Yeah, it's, I mean, last year, I think I have this right, you got nine teams in, and it easily could have been ten. Purdue thought it should have gotten in. And, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, Purdue, Purdue was out last year. Minnesota was out last year. Both of those teams could be in the top four teams uh, in the conference this year. You know, you had to rank, you had to rank, the, you know, Michigan, I think, was preseason ranked ninth or tenth in the conference. Northwestern's really good. You know, Iowa Bond's doing a great job at Iowa. I, I just think the conference top to bottom is really impressive. You know what it takes from, from your time in volleyball, especially at Penn State. Um, where are you at with Maryland, and what do you expect from this season? Well, I think the first year, especially for the team, um, you know, I think it was hard for them to understand uh, kind of the rigors of it. I think it was just different. Um, I think – this year, they understand. I think they've been to some matches. You know, we played at Nebraska. We played at Wisconsin. They've been in these environments now, so I think they know what to expect going into the year. Um, the team stayed the whole summer uh, and trained and did the things you have to do to, to get better. And, you know, I think we're three or four points better a game. You know, I, I don't know of us uh, picking off the top teams in the conference, but I just want to be more competitive, uh, get to the point where they understand how we, how we get better. Um, and then I'm thrilled with the way recruiting's gone. So I think that the future here is really bright. It's awesome. All right, well, look, we'll get you out of here because you got volleyball coaching to do and dad to go play, and these are busy times for you. I look forward to us keeping up, and we'll talk again pretty soon. That's fantastic. Congrats on the website and all the stuff you're about to do, and I'm happy to be part of it. Good. Thanks, Steve. All right, Lee.